Hi and welcome to the MRTV Daily News, your daily roundup of everything that's important in VR and AR today. And today's headlines for the 6th of June 2018 are The Magic Leap has given us a closer look at the Magic Leap 1 in their Twitch live stream. Then Sony shows Tetris effects for PS4 and PSVR for the very first time. Then Moss is probably coming to PC VR headsets. Also, we're going to look at the Gunhard review that Upload VR has posted. And at the very end of the show, you're going to get some exclusive Pimax 8K M1 news. And all is coming up. Hi and welcome here at 2MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. Yes, hi and welcome to the MRTV Daily News. This is the third pilot show and as you know, this is the pilot week. I want to find out if this format is cool, if you like it and if it's feasible for me to do this as a daily show. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and do tell me in the comment section below if you want to see this show continuing also for the next week. Then also, of course, you're more than invited to send me some super chats to support this channel and all super chats, I'm going to read them at the end of this show. And all of the super chatters are going to join a giveaway. The giveaway for this year, the Carbon ProTube VR, 150 US dollar VR rifle from ProTube that I'm going to give away at MRTV Live episode number 21 on Saturday. So definitely, if you want to join, then send me over a super chat and do um, support this incredible channel. All right, but now, but now let's change the perspective and let's get into the news. So, so here we are. All right, so today Magic Leap Live happened. Magic Leap Live is a live stream on Twitch where Magic Leap yeah, tells um, developers and creators more about the Magic Leap 1. And today was the second episode of said live stream. I watched it and well, unfortunately, again, they did not reveal when the thing is going to come out and also they did not reveal at what price is going to come out and also they did not reveal when we can start to pre-order it so that was a bit of a disappointment however they did tell us more about the device and actually they had the device there and they showed us some more details so now let me tell you what we have learned about the magic leap once hardware so let's scroll down here a bit and here we go. So first of all, as you can tell, there are some cameras here in, in the front area of the Magic Leap 1. And the great thing is these cameras are not only for tracking, there are also some cameras which are just responsible for taking pictures and video. So you will be able to take video of your surroundings. And there is also an LED which will signal <laughs> to the poor people around you that they are being filmed with your Magic Leap 1. So this is one thing, the, the, the cameras are not only there for, for room tracking, they're also there for taking pictures and videos. Then another interesting news item here. So this device has built-in speakers which are not unlike the ones from the Oculus Go. So instead of having to put on headphones you will directly get the audio from the device here without having to put on headphones on your on your eyes. Very similar to what we see in the Oculus Go. And um, yeah, this will give you spatial, spatial audio. And I think it's good that it's built in and then you don't have to fiddle with, with some, some headphones by yourself. But if you do want to use headphones, you can also do so. There's a, there's a 3.5 millimeter jack at the, the light wear, the little computer that you will have to wear. And we're going to get to that one next. Also, what is in the Magic Leap 1 is eye tracking. So we have two eye tracking modules, which is pretty cool. So it means the device does know where you're looking in. When you're looking, uh, when you're looking through the device, the device knows in which direction you're looking. And according to that, 
it can react. So could be like the gameplay will change according to where you look or yeah, it could do quite lots of things with that eye tracking module. And I think it's cool that this has eye tracking built in already. So lots of future technologies all put into this little device where we still don't know yet when it's going to come out. So definitely eye tracking, yes, enabled for the Magic Leap 1. Then you can swap out some parts for it and make it your face. So here, these nose clamps here, they will come in different sizes and well, you can, you can use the size that fits your nose. Like me, for example, I have quite a big nose and we all know what it means. It means that I will have to use the biggest of these nose clamps. And then we also have this kind of padding here for the for your forehead. This also is exchangeable and it also comes in different sizes. Now overall for the Magic Leap 1, they have two overall sizes. Standard, which should fit most of the people. And then we also have the large for those people who have like huge, huge heads. Like recently there was this uh, basketball player who was using them, the Magic Leap 1 and I'm sure that he used the big one. Yeah, also very important to tell you guys, you will not be able to use your glasses with the Magic Leap 1. And um, let me just check if we're still online. <laughs> Yeah, we're still online. Okay, because YouTube just told me we're not online. Okay, but we are actually online. So, um, yeah, you will not be able to use your glasses with the Magic Leap 1. But instead, you will have to get prescription lenses that you can clip into the device. So, that is something that you must be aware of. Then, let's keep on going with the device with what's, what they have here. Okay. Then the headset is apparently worn like this here. So in the live stream, this lady here, she showed us how to put it on. And actually it seemed very convenient because the back here, you could kind of pull it apart. It was held together by some kind of spring mechanism. So you simply like pull it apart and then you can easily put it over your head and wear it like this. So this is the little computer here. Well, we knew that already, we saw that, right? And now we learned some more things about it. So this is how you clip it to your pocket and you should not clip it to a belt, but you should clip it like this into a pocket. So also we learned that you should not put the whole thing into your pocket because well, it's a little computer and it needs to breathe. <laughs> and that's what they said. So without a doubt, this is some interesting news here. Then what else did we learn? Yeah, we learned that it's, yeah, it's a, it's a full PC exactly. And we also learned that it has a USB-C port and this USB-C port is used for charging the device. This is one thing. And also it's used to connect to your computer if you want to put some data on it or also for programmers, if you want to put your latest build on it, that's how you do it with that little USB-C port. Good, what else did we learn? Okay, now talking about the controllers. So the controller, the one controller has haptic feedback and also it is tracked with six degrees of freedom. This is of course good news. So you can, you can reach and don't only have to point like with these three degrees of freedom controllers. And well, here on the front, you have one home button, which is also at the same time, the on button, then you have this, this touch pad and on the back of the device, you have a trigger button and one more button. So you basically have two trigger buttons, which is really good. We all like, we all like trigger buttons, right Daydream? So definitely, definitely, this is a good thing. And what else to tell you guys? So here on the trackpad, we have actually some LEDs built into the thing. Now, why would we have LEDs on the touchpad, you might ask? Well, the developers can give the users some clues on where to click. <laughs> so if a game, for example, will just allow you to click right and left, probably only on the right and on the left side, we will have some illumination that will simply let us know that, yes, we can click right and left. I think it's a pretty neat idea. 
Good, what else did we learn? Oh, we also learned that it works with multiplayer. So if in the room there are there is there are like two magically one users, then they can play together. For example, um, they see the same playing field on the table. And if player A does a move, then player B will see that in his uh, vision. So definitely multiplayer works and it's an important part of the experience. Actually, that is what the lady said in the live stream. And it's made for indoor use, not for outdoor use. So this device is not made for the outdoors. And the reason they said was there's too much stuff going on in the, in the, in the outdoors, like every grass piece would have to be tracked. And that's simply impossible. They want to do it for further iterations in the future. But this device, the Magic Leap 1, is meant for indoor use. Yeah, and well, no demo, no specs, nothing else. They only told us we have to stay glued <laughs> to their Twitch channel. Then we'll learn more in the future. Now, my take on it. Well, I'm still excited about the device. I can't wait to try it out. Um, everybody seems to be very excited who has tried it out. And those two guys in the stream, they were very excited. And actually, you could tell they want to tell us more, but they were not allowed to tell us more. Well. Anyways, so I'm still excited, but I also think they really, really have to give us a bit more. They have to tell us how expensive it's going to be. They have to tell us when we can pre-order this. They cannot wait forever, right? So my patience is already like mm, not so strong anymore. So please, Magic Leap 1, give us some more information. Alrighty, that's it about the Magic Leap 1. Please do let me know in the comments what you think about the Magic Leap 1. Do you have the same feeling about the patience thing that I just said? Please do let me know in the description below. No, not in the description, in the comment section. <laughs> that would be better. Let's go to the next topic. So Sony has announced a new game for PS4 and PSVR. And this new game is called Tetris Effects. Tetris Effect. And the good thing is that Tetris Effect is a game made by the same developer that made Res and Res Infinite and Luminous. And well, you might know that these are awesome music games and actually they are two of my favorite games. And now these guys give us a different take on Tetris and it works on the PSVR with this beautiful VR mode. Now, what's this game about? Well, Tetris, we all kind of know. I played it very, very intensively on the original Game Boy. It was a great time and now I can finally enjoy it in VR with awesome music and some awesome effects. Why don't we have a look into the last minute of the awesome trailer together. Here is Tetris Effects. So Tetris Effect, I'm kind of looking forward to it and I didn't show you the whole trailer because the whole trailer is three minutes and that would kind of like, yeah, stop the show. But definitely Tetris Effect is coming and I'm kind of looking forward to it. What's also coming is Moss and most probably it's going, to, most probably it is going to happen on the PC VR headsets because, well, there were a couple of tweets today. So let me read out those tweets from Polyarc, the developer. So we wanted to get Quill's reaction to putting on a new headset. You could say she was pleasantly surprised. So Quill is the name of this beautiful, cute mouse. And um, yeah, so they kind of teased it. And then Oculus retweeted it and said, stay tuned for some exciting news from Polyarc Games later this week. Okay, so it couldn't be more obvious, could it? Then also HTC. <laughs> HTC Vive also retweeted that and they said, wait, are those two spirit hands? And um, yeah, so we can be pretty, pretty sure that this is coming to Oculus and to Vive and Windows Mixed Reality. And well, Moss has been reviewed like, it has received glowing reviews, let's say like that. And I have not played it yet, but I have just purchased the game and I really want to play it. Looking forward to that. I heard very good things about it. The next topic. 
the next topic here and it's about Gunhard. So there, there's uh, the reviews out on Upload VR and Gunhard it is a shooter game, a shooter that you can that you can play together with up to three friends and it looks pretty pretty awesome. Why don't we have a look at the one minute trailer now. Palco Industries welcomes you to Planet Fortune. As a galactic leader in robotics, fashion, and simulated pork products, we're committed to making every bounty hunter feel like a first-class citizen. Enjoy a serene afternoon exploring beautiful landscapes, or just take a load off at the Bent Horizon Bar to meet up with other like-minded mercs. When your tab starts to add up, grab a bounty at the Job Goblin Dispensary to start breaking in the space box. While out and about, why not fraternize with the friendly locals? As the newest member of the Palco family, we are committed to your health and livelihood. Please enjoy your stay on Planet Fortune. Palco is only responsible for maintaining your health and support your livelihood. Job out So this was the, the trailer for Gunheart and doesn't that look sweet? Nice. I'm kind of looking forward to play that game and that game I'm also going to get it later after the stream is over and probably going to have a look at it. And now let's have a look what Upload VR says. So Upload VR says positives, excellent freeform locomotion system. Oh, that sounds good. Great gun mechanics and weapon mods. Nice. Fun co-op and PvP multiplayer, nice. So I would love to play that with some of you. Wouldn't that be nice? And dynamic mission creation system, good. Negatives, not a lot of mission types, who cares? The main thing is the action. Only a handful of core guns, it's okay too. And low player count, that is not so good, but probably now, since it was on the MRTV Daily News, downloads are going to soar. All right, so yeah, that is that is that is here for 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 that, and they give the game a rating of great eight from ten points. Not bad. So definitely, we should all check that out. Okay. So and the last news item is an exclusive news item that has not been re reported before, and it's about the Pimax 8K. M1. So, as we all know, the last thing that we heard about the Pimax 8K M1 was the email that we received that the backers that the backers received from Pimax on 31st of May and in in that email we saw these pictures of the Pimax 8K where it's, it was tested and in that email it also said that the device started to send out. Now is already the 6th of June and of course in the Pimax forum again the people are simply um, speculating what's going on. Um, did the did the Pimax, the 10 mysterious testers, did they get the devices or what and nobody has a clue and again people are starting to have crazy ideas and so on and so forth. Now I have some news from very reliable resources. I can tell you that the Pimax 8K M1 has not reached the Pimax 8K M1 testers yet. And actually, only yesterday did the Pimax 8K M1 testers receive the tracking numbers. So only yesterday did they receive the tracking numbers and now they can track their packages and see when the device will get to them. So it means like, okay, if they got the tracking numbers yesterday, then probably it will take another few days until it reaches their doorsteps, a few days, and then hopefully, finally, we will hear more about the Pimax 8K M1. So from very reliable sources that I trust very much, we have heard that the Pimax 8K M1 tracking numbers went out to the Pimax 8K M1 testers yesterday. So probably in the next few days, 
we will hear some more about the Pimax 8K M1. <laughs> All right, that is everything that I get that I got for today. And now let me change the perspective. Here we are again, and let's see if there were any super chats to read out. And indeed, we have one more super chat from Francis Sanchez. Hi, Francis. Great. Thank you for your super chat. And now you ha already have two balls in the big tombola thingy going on. Yeah, that, that's incredible. And you say bacon affected farts. Okay, man. Nobody knows what you mean with this. Yesterday, you told us that you smell like farts. And today this, let's see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for your support. All right. Yeah, that's it for that's it for the third episode here of my MRTV daily news show. Again, please do let me know if you like this show or if not, if you think we shouldn't do it or if you should, if you think we should do it. This is a pilot and you decide if you want to keep on seeing this next week. All right? So give it a thumbs up and leave your comments. And so, yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed it, that you liked it. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've not yet subscribed to Emma TV, you should absolutely do so now. Also, please do join the Emma TV Discord server. The Emma TV Discord server is a great resource where you can directly chat with me and the Emma TV community. We're chatting there all the time. It's a fantastic place and it's completely free of charge. You will find the link in the description of this video. But that's really everything I got for you guys today. Have a good day and looking forward to see you in the next episode.